Hi, I'm Stephen Mann again on another tip and trick. Um, firstly, I'd like to tell you how we're going to set up the paper. This is the way I do it. I get a bit of this ordinary tape, like that, and I'll stick a little bit there, like that, and a little bit there, and I'm showing you where I do it. A little bit that way, a little bit that way. This is a watercolour paper. A little bit there. And that's all I do. Like that. I just roll the paper up, the tape up like that. And I just stick it on the board. Just like that. That's all I do. Then I've got the whole paper, and if I want to, I can mount that on top of a mat board to lift the paper. What I'm going to do today is, I don't want you really to be concerned too much about watercolours you're doing. Like this one I've done the first second, first and second tip trick, tip and tricks, and the third. Always remember, it's only a bit of paper. And if you don't stress forward what you want out of the watercolour, how to make the watercolour work for you, no gain, you're not going to gain no mileage of the brush. Don't pay too much attention about too detail. I foresee you're frightened to make a move. If you're frightened to make a move, what is it? It's only a bit of paper. That's all it is. It's a watercolour, a bit of paper. Don't pay too much attention about it. We're not geniuses, but the most important thing is we've got to get some mileage done of the brush to find out what makes it tick. So pay no attention to little bits of watercolour papers or little bits of practice. You've got to do that. You've got to paint on small and you've got to simply experiment to what suits you. What I'm going to do today is we're going to get a, the rubber and we're going to put a few clouds in on this piece here. And then we're going to let it dry a little bit and then we're going to rub the lights in. So what we're going to do is stress on light and dark on this and always always carry some tissue paper with you I'm like a child I hold this tissue paper and clutch onto it never let it go half the time I feel comfortable with it so what we'll do is we're going to put the light here and the darker there we're just going to use this bit of paper watercolor paper and never chuck watercolor paper away it's always good to do practice on what we're going to do now so I'm just going to wet it a little bit like this, like that, and I might leave a bit of this here, like that. This is just going to be a bit of sky and just a bit of experiment, just to test what you can do and what you want to do and what you don't want to do in your watercolours. Like that. I'm using this big brush a lot. I'll wet it with that brush. I'm even going to paint with that brush. So what I'll start off with, I'll do a little sunset like that. Just a little simple sunset, you know. Um, don't, don't forget, this is my light bulb. This is stressing light. Let's get a bit more light on there. Stressing light. That's all I'm doing. So let me sit this way like this. Now I'm leaving a little bit of light up here. Like that. To stress out the light, it's going to get darker as it goes that way, like that. A bit of yellow on there. Squeeze my brush out a bit because I don't want it soaking with water. And the complementary colour to yellow, now nature offers you all the complementary colours. You've got to absorb what nature offers you. And it is a bit of mauve after that. So mauve and yellow always goes complementary. So I'll throw a little bit of mauve in there, at the back part here, like this, 
and I'll leave this light out. I'll just introduce a little bit that I'm moving there, like that. And as you notice, I'm leaving my light bulb free. I'll get a bit stronger with the move. Just there. Like this. See, I'm getting darker as I get away from the light. And all these lines here, they'll all fade away and fade into each other. So don't worry about them too much. Squeeze that out and leave that there. And I'll use this little round brush. Now, incidentally, I always use Roy Mac. Roy Mac brushes are superb in every way in watercolour. I'm going to add a little bit more. Perusian blue in there. It's a nice soft blue, like this. At the top right hand corner, and then leave subtly, leaving some moves coming through. Same as on the bottom, like that. And I'll get a bit more darker, so I shall lighten my brush off a little bit with the water. Now, and I should get a bit more intense colour. So I go darker like that. And if I want to, I can add a bit of red to that dark, if I want to, to enhance the darkness. Like that. So I'm introducing my lights there. And at this stage, if I want to, at this stage, if I want to, I can light this look. Get my brush, clean it, wipe it on there, and I can also get rid of this hard line and drag back like that if I want to, like that. Like that. So if I add a little bit of red to that move, which I've got here on the plate already, like this, it gets even darker still, like that. A few little clouds coming in if I want, like that, like that. Because I'm adding a bit of mauve uh, Prussian blue with that um, bit there, like that. And I'm darkening off again this colour, like that. And with them colours we got there, them dark colours there, I wash my brush clean. And then very quickly I'll just put a little bit of this lights on there like there like that. And just put a little bit in the water, which is going to be water, like that. Balance it in. Like that. A bit more dark again. Just a touch of green there. Or above, above that colour. Like that. Now having done that, I'm going to put the little landscape in there.